สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a and it's Friday March 17th Happy St Patrick's Day You're watching Phuket Extra brought to you by pvcphuket.com Five senior police officers from p a t o n g Police Station have all been removed from duty after a raid on Wednesday at a bar on Bangla Road led to the arrest of two women for child sex trafficking and six underage prostitutes were taken into protective care. Wednesday night's raid by the Department of Provincial Administration officials was the result of a tip that they received from a U.S.-based nonprofit organization involved in the rescue of human and sex trafficking victims about possible child prostitution going on at a specific venue on Bangla Road. Officials raided the Velvet Bar on Soy Sea Dragon just off Bangla Road and arrested two people, including the bar manager and the alleged procurer of children for the purpose of prostitution. As the two women were being led away, officials also entered a hotel nearby where prostitutes working for the bar were waiting for customers, and six of them were underage. The youngest being 15 years old. All six were taken into protective care. On Thursday, the Phuket Provincial Police Commander ordered the transfers of the Patong Police Chief and four other senior officers, whose names and rank are now on your screen. However, the provincial police commander made no mention of any legal action against the five Patong officers. The whole thing followed an inspection of the bar yesterday by the provincial police region 8 deputy commissioner, who also visited the Patong police station shortly after. For more on this, visit the Phuket News dot com. A 3.14 billion baht budget is being set aside for the construction of the PSU Hospital Phuket, which is expected to be built at the site. Of the International Andaman Health Center in Maikau, the news was confirmed by the deputy dean of Prince of Songkla University Phuket, who added that the hospital is expected to be completed by 2027, as a contractor for the project has already been chosen and reviews of the design are now being done, which could just take a few months. Original plans for the hospital called for 300 beds, but the budget now allows them to expand to 500 beds. According to a recommendation from the cabinet in Bangkok, the hospital will accept only patients with complicated diseases who are transferred from government hospitals across the southern region. Recent figures recorded 13,500 patient transfers from v a s h i d a p u k e t Hospital, accounting for 9,000 patients in just the past year, which the deputy dean says means that there are some patients who were repeatedly transferred from v a s h i d a to Hat Yai, for example. The hospital is to be built as part of the International Andaman Health Center, which the cabinet last year approved a total budget of 5.16 billion baht to complete, with the budget allocated to be spent from 2023 through to 2027. Construction is expected to start on the hospital sometime around October of this year. The deputy dean also noted that PSU Phuket is preparing for the upcoming hospital by opening the international program of the Faculty of Medicine, of which one class has already graduated. The second class is currently underway. For more, visit the Phuket News dot com. A fire warning has been issued after an incident in Saku on Wednesday, in which there was a fire just outside of a shooting range not far from the Phuket International Airport. Three fire trucks were dispatched to the scene at the Asian shooting range in Saku, halfway between Tepkrasatri and Nayang Beach on Route 4031 at about 6 p.m. on Wednesday. It took firefighters one hour to douse the flames that they believe was started by a discarded cigarette butt. A key concern was that the outdoor area of the shooting range that had caught fire bordered on a protected forest area that forms part of the City Not National Park. Firefighters at the scene. Urge people to be mindful that Phuket is currently in its dry season, making wildfires much more likely and more dangerous. People are urged to report any wildfires in the area to disaster prevention and mitigation officers at Saku Oboto at 076-328-146. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A longtime Phuket resident is about to be in the spotlight as he gets set for the biggest fight of his life this Sunday, Thailand time at UFC 286. As Rafael Fazeev takes on Justin Gagey in the co-main event in London's O2 Arena. 
Fazeev has called Phuket his home for the better part of the last decade, plying his trade first in Muay Thai and now MMA, sporting a 12-1 record in cage fighting. The bout on Sunday will take place in the lightweight division, arguably the toughest division in all of MMA, and he'll take on two-time title challenger Justin Gagey. The 30-year-old Fazeev, who fights out of Chalong's Tiger Muay Thai and MMA training camp, has only lost once in his MMA career, and the win on Sunday would put him firmly in the conversation for a possible shot at the lightweight title. He's currently on a six-fight win streak, which included three knockout victories, and this weekend's co-main event for UFC 286 is being touted as a possible fight of the year contender given the talent of both men. Good luck to Fazeev. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. With RH negative blood in short supply on the island, health officials are urging people to donate blood at any of the upcoming mobile blood donation clinics taking place for the rest of March. The dates, times, and locations for the mobile blood donation clinics this month are now on your screen. RH negative blood is in critically short supply on the island, and while Thai and foreigners are urged to donate, foreigners from Western countries are 15% more likely than Thai nationals to have RH negative blood type. The Phuket Red Cross outreach campaign schedule for this month spans across the entire island. You can also donate at the Phuket Blood Bank in the fourth floor of Vashida Phuket Hospital in Phuket Town. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Thanks for ending your week with us here at Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll be back on Monday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.